Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a mashup of some of our favorite crock pot meals. Stay tuned, these are great. For dinner we are having creamy crock pot tortellini. I've got all of my supplies right here. I've got some chicken broth, I have a bag of cheese tortellini, this is the Great Value brand, and I believe this is 19 ounces, it is a frozen bag. I've got Italian seasoning, I got a can of petite diced tomatoes, and then I went ahead and just pulled out one of my petite diced tomatoes that has basil, garlic, and oregano in it. I don't think this is necessary because we're also gonna be using Italian seasoning, but since I had it in there, I figured I would just use it. I've also got an eight ounce block of cream cheese. This right here is tomato paste, so typically whenever I make a recipe that calls for tomato paste, it almost never calls for the entire can. So I take whatever's left over and just freeze it. And so this is about a fourth cup, which is perfect because that's what we need. And then I have this right here, which is Italian mild ground sausage. The first thing that I'm gonna do is take this sausage over to the stove and brown it up. I do want to drain off the fat, so I have some paper towels on a plate here, and I'm just going to pour the sausage onto that and let the fat drain off into those paper towels. Now it's time to put all of the ingredients into the crock pot. I'm pouring in my diced tomatoes, juices included, an eight ounce block of cream cheese, three cups of chicken broth, A teaspoon of Italian seasoning, about a fourth cup of tomato paste, the whole bag of tortellini, all of my sausage, I am going to give this just a quick stir, sort of, it's not going to be really easy to stir, but just to make sure that tortellini kind of gets down into the liquid. put my lid on and we're gonna cook for about two and a half hours on low. Tonight for dinner, I am making carnitas. As you can see right here, this is a little big for my crock pot. So I'm gonna be using my Instant Pot as a crock pot. This is a crock pot meal for us, but my Instant Pot, which I went ahead and pulled out because it's much larger, actually works as an Instant Pot and as a crock pot. So I'm gonna take this out of here because what I'm afraid of is that the juices from this are going to be so high, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it. This so is almost seven pounds and it is a bone in pork butt roast. I'm adding about a tablespoon of olive oil. You can use vegetable oil too if that's what you have. I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of salt. I'm adding one teaspoon of cumin. This calls for a full teaspoon of cayenne, but I'm gonna use about half a teaspoon. I just wanna make sure it's not too spicy for the kids, and cayenne definitely packs some heat. I am going to add about a teaspoon of this chipotle chili pepper right here. You can use chili powder if that's what you have. I just like to use this whenever I have an opportunity to, so I'm gonna use about a teaspoon or so of that. I need a teaspoon of oregano, which is pretty much what I have left in this container here, so we're gonna almost finished, well we're gonna finish it off. And then I need a half teaspoon of onion powder and about a half teaspoon of black pepper. 
Now I'm going to just rub this around. I wanna get this, all the spices rubbed nicely into this meat. Also, while I'm doing this, obviously this is a very large piece of meat. We will get at least two dinners out of this. I love buying meats like this that I really only have to cook the main entree portion one time and then we can get a few meals out of it. I'm gonna start this on high and just let it cook for about an hour on high. You could cook this on high for six hours. I just wanna cook it for about one hour on high and then I'm gonna switch to low and let it cook for about seven hours on low. Whenever you use your Instant Pot as a crock pot, make sure that you have your vent open so it's venting. To go with dinner tonight, I am making some yellow rice. I am just using this box yellow rice. I have four cups of water here in a pot. I'm gonna bring that to a boil and then put in the rice along with the seasoning packets and about a tablespoon of butter. You're supposed to boil this for one minute and then reduce the heat and let it simmer with the lid on for about 25 minutes. To go with dinner tonight, I'm also making a can of refried beans. Super easy, just heating it up on the stovetop. I have a foil lined baking sheet here and I'm just gonna take some of the pork out of the crock pot and I'm gonna broil it under the broiler to give it really good flavor and add some crispiness to the outside of it. Once it's done broiling, I'll take some of the juices from the bottom of the crock pot and drizzle it over the top of the meat. Here's tonight's dinner. We've got the yellow rice, we've got some refried beans there, and the carnitas. I'm gonna throw something in the crock pot before we go. So we are going to make this crock pot Tuscan sausage soup. It sounds really good. I am gonna modify the recipe a little bit here. We only need about half of this recipe. I just know what we're gonna be hungry for for tonight and I think this is gonna serve a lot. So I'm gonna cut this about in half. This recipe calls for hot Italian sausage. We are going to be using this mild Italian sausage. We are actually only gonna be using two sausage links because of the fact that I am cutting this down so significantly. The recipe also calls for russet potatoes, but I got red potatoes. Also, I am not gonna be using six. Six russet potatoes, those, those are decent size. We're gonna be using in between five and six red potatoes. So significantly smaller, so probably not exactly half. The recipe does call for one celery stalk. I am going to use one. We actually really like celery. I actually, I really like celery, but I'm gonna put one celery stalk in here that I'm dicing up. I'm also gonna top this off with about six ounces, maybe eight ounces or so of mushrooms. These are already sliced. The recipe calls for four cloves of garlic. I'm only gonna be adding about two, maybe a little bit more, just because you guys know we really do like garlic here. I'm also gonna top this off with about a teaspoon of oregano. I'm skipping the crushed red pepper. The main reason that I'm skipping it is I did not bring any spices with us to the beach this time, and I did not wanna buy crushed red pepper for one fourth teaspoon. <laughs> I figured we can go without that one, but if you want a little bit of heat, you might wanna add crushed red pepper. Add in a little less, maybe about one half cup of heavy whipping cream to all of this we're gonna add about three cups of chicken broth I'm using bone broth and we're just gonna make sure that it covers the potatoes so at this point I'm gonna put the lid on my crock pot we're gonna cook this on high for about four hours while we're down at the beach then I'm gonna come back up and add some kale into the recipe we are back up here. I'm gonna add in the kale. I like to remove the rib of the kale so we only really have the leafy green portion. I'm gonna put this kale in until it's just wilted. It's probably gonna take 20 minutes or so. It's still set on high, basically just in time for everybody to get showers and get ready for dinner, and then we're gonna serve this up. Okay. 
Okay, the kale is nicely wilted. We are going to serve this up in bowls and top it off with some Parmesan cheese. An easy meal that I was able to throw into the crock pot and then come home to a nice home cooked meal. I hope you enjoyed these crock pot meals. Again, these are some of our favorites. So I wanted to make sure that they were shared over here on Feeding the Birds. If you're new here, I'd love if you would subscribe and stick around. All you have to do is hit that red subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell and it will notify you whenever I upload a new video. I hope you're having a great week. Bye.